welcome to the latest video and we've got a new rig for the channel today i've been looking forward to this we're going to be diving into the box of the rgt ready to run 136 100 version 3 fd no idea what fd stands for but i'm sure we'll find out right we'll have a quick look at the box and then we'll get it out so features uh new steel c type chassis rail with removable battery tray yada yada bolt bearings steering structure new i'll put that up on the screen now for you to read at home swing the box around oh that's nice wish that was available as a color option when i bought it but sadly it wasn't what have we got here 45 degrees, maximum steering angle, yada, 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 yada. Ooh, new electronics, I'll put all that up on the screen now for you. Also got some custom and a bit of stats there. Right, enough messing about, let's have a look inside. Get that off. All right, what do we got? The packaging. Transmitter. Fly Sky transmitter. Dip switches. Basic functions. Throttle, steering trim. On off switch, steering and throttle reverse. We'll have a look at that in a bit. Get rid of the packaging. Usual four AA size batteries. Right, let's try and get to the truck itself. Jesus. It's That's nice. That is nice. What else we got in there? We've got basic EU, EU plug, double pin battery charger. It's not going to be of any use unless I find the uh, adapter, which I'm pretty sure I do have one. Okay, bear with me for a sec. I'm going to go and find a set of snips. Not going to lie, this is nice. This is very nice. Look at that. As you see, gone for the orange. Nice chrome 1.9 bead locks on there. These tyres feel good. Bit of nice scale, nice scale tread on there. That's actually nicer than I was expecting it to be. Not gonna lie. That is nice. So, for the outside then, I've gone for the nice burnt orange metallic paint. Got a nice scale roof rack. We do have lights. I'm pretty sure they don't work on this model, but I'm pretty sure I can get the kit so we can get some roof lights on there. We do have working front lights, apparently. Nice sturdy bumper. So there might be room there for a winch to sit up there if that's your thing. Come out the front. To the rear, we don't have working rear lights. We might be able to hook up a trailer on there. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that. Whoever put that sticker on. Yeah, better luck next time on that one. Nice, very nice. Right, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna figure out how to get the body off and then we'll be back. Right, we got four hidden body clips holding the uh, body on gives it a much cleaner look without them coming through on body posts so we've got two at the front two at the back i've just removed them being careful make sure the lights are unplugged which they are we've got three figure out how they go in a bit although they are numbered so even i can figure that one out i think let's just sit that to the back there this is nice this is the supplied Supplied battery, let's have a quick look at this. 
What have we got here? We've got Dean's connector. 7.2 volts, 1500 mega amp power NIMP power pack. Yeah, we'll run it. First run out, we'll run that. We'll see how we get on on the supplied battery. So we've got a 35 turn brushed 390 motor, 40 amp fly sky combined ESC transmitter. Well, that's worked itself free. I think that just slides back on there somehow. That's nice. Six kilogram servo for the steering. <laughs> It's not brilliant, but I've got a feeling it's more than enough for this car. Transmission. I think we've got plastic drive shafts going in there. Plastic fit solid axles. Nickel plated, I do remember links. Front and rear. That's nice. Pretty simple. Lightweight. Battery up the front there, keep some of the weight over, but to be fair for the driving that we're going to be doing with this truck, it's going to be more than ideal. These shocks feel nice. Nice oil, oil filled shocks. There's no real room for it. Uh, I think there's a couple of points maybe where you can adjust them. Maybe lift it higher, drop it lower. I'm guessing this battery tray can sit there further at the back should you wish to get it there or you could... Yeah. Now, maybe, maybe get it there on the front. Hmm, something to look at, something to look at. Anyway, I'm going to get this battery charged up and then we'll be back. And here we go, battery's got a bit of charge in it. And we do have front lights. Like I thought, we have no working rear lights at all. And we do however have bonus indicators or turn signals whichever you want to call them their front and rear and on the click of the channel 4 hazard lights so they'll probably be the best option when driving can't figure out how you switch them off I don't think you can but it is what it is I ain't fussed about indicators it's not really a deal clincher for me but it looks a good looking truck. I'm looking forward to getting it on the trails, hopefully this weekend, and we'll see how it goes. So that's in the next video. So if you haven't already liked and subscribed, then do so, so you don't miss the running video of this one. I look forward to it. This is gonna be good. Hopefully this truck will, will go as good as it looks. We don't really, you know, we're not pushing all over silly, silly big terrain where we're running but uh yeah should be decent should be good so thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video